So now that you know the theory behind why we need a foliage terrain, let's go ahead and create it. So go into Unity and you'll see we've got our inner here, we've got our OPCD meshes, and let's make sure, make sure that your OPCD meshes are back at zero and they're clashing with your inner now. Um, so you see them and we got the Z fighting and then you're gonna be in good shape. Um, so what we have to do is first, we want to create a copy of the data that is being used for our inner. So here's our inner terrain. So quick edit here because um, I made some mistakes in the videos. Um, you wanna make sure that uh, you have the right naming convention when you create terrains. Um, so let me go through this quick. Uh, in this video, you see I named my terrain inner. Um, that is slightly incorrect. Um, when you have a main inner terrain, we must call it something like inner terrain. It must have the word, word, not work. It must have the word terrain in it, okay, that main terrain. So for example, we could just name it terrain. That's perfectly fine. If you name it inner, like I did in the video, that's a no-go. You're gonna have some problems game side. You're not gonna see it until you publish or you try to run your, your uh, game inside GS Pro because GS Pro is looking specifically for the word terrain in one terrain and in one terrain only, okay? Um, another good example is if you name it inner and then parentheses terrain, that's perfectly fine as well because it has the word terrain in it. When you create your other trains, like your grasses train, which you'll do a little later, and your foliage train, which is later, and your outer, which you may or may not have, you cannot use the word terrain inside of them. For example, you cannot name your outer outer terrain. That's a no-go. That'll cause problems. Same thing. Um, if you just name it outer, it's perfectly fine. Your foliage, just, just name it foliage, and it has to be called foliage. There's actually some scripts that don't call it leaves or trees. Call it foliage. Um, and then do not call it foliage terrain, all right? Um, back to your normally scheduled program. Okay, I've got it highlighted over here. And if I go over to the cogwheel in the inspector and I scroll down, you'll see that my terrain collider for my inner, it's terrain data comes from this Rock Creek inner height map, okay? So I got an inner terrain whose data is based on the Rock Creek inner, which is in my terrain backup folder. So the first thing we want to do is we want to duplicate this data. So I'm going to highlight Rock Creek Inner, our inner height map. I'm going to come up here to edit, and I'm going to say duplicate. And when I do that, I'm going to get an exact copy of that, a separate but exact copy um, of that. And let me call this foliage. Okay, so this is now my foliage height map for my new foliage terrain. So I've got this new height map, which is a copy of my inner, an exact copy. And um, now I need to create a terrain based on that data. So let me drag this over here. Let me drag this over here into an empty space, just like we did for our inner originally. And now I've got a new terrain over here called terrain. And if I go to its inspector and I scroll down, I've got its terrain data based on the foliage copy that is created, which is an exact same copy of my inner. So now I've got two terrains over here that are exactly the same. However, this is gonna be called my foliage. So let me click on this, call it foliage. Whoops, not foliage, foliage. And please call yours foliage as well. Now, if I highlight that, I can go and I see that base terrain draw is on. I don't want that. I don't do not want to see my foliage terrain. So I'm gonna turn that off. Remember, it's invisible, but I'm gonna be planning on it. And I can also turn the base tree and detail object off as well, because I'm not gonna be drawing any trees using the native Unity tool. I'm gonna to be using VS Pro, so I can turn that off. Let me also turn off cast shadows, because that is just a, a resource suck. And let me see um, in my inner, yep, I got cast shadows off here. It's always good to double check those things. So I'm in good shape now. I got my foliage terrain, which is a duplicate of my inner, um, but I haven't lowered my inner yet. It's still Z fighting. So let's talk a little summary here and give you a little cheat sheet of what we've done, done up to this point. I'm adding a little bit of theory to the end of this, which is we have our main terrain, our main inner terrain, which is like our original terrain, okay? Our, our main original terrain. We turn base terrain draw on on that so we can see it. 
tree and detail object draw is off because we're not using the uni the native Unity planning tools. And eventually in the next lesson, we're going to talk about how we lower that under our meshes and our, under our meshes only. So that's our main train, the one that we can see. We just created a foliage train, which is a duplicate of our unlowered main terrain. It's very key. It's a copy of our unlowered main terrain, which we're going to lower next. Base train draws off so we can't see it because now that we can't see it, it's not going to Z fight with our meshes. And we also have tree and detail object draw off because we're not going to be using the native Unity planning tools to draw on it. Very important concept here is you only want to dig or alter an unlowered inner terrain and then duplicate that to your foliage train if you need to make changes. And you, why that's going to be problematic is we're going to lower our main terrain, our inner, so it's not dead fighting with our meshes. But if we go back and we dig on there again later on, we're going to cause problems because we're digging on the terrain that we're not planting on. Okay, That's a really important concept to understand is that if later on after this you need to dig, we want to restore our unlowered terrain and then make a copy of that again back to our foliage. So that's why we want to do as much digging as we can up front. You can still do it later on, but it's really important that when you dig, you do it on an unlowered main terrain. More on that in the next sections.